Hi, I'm Steve with Locking Security Mailbox, and today I want to tell you about our 12 inch wide custom through the wall payment bank bag night drop box. So, obviously, this is going to go through the wall. This portion here is typically in your wall. You can recess part of the receptacle. It includes a, uh, a flange that goes and hides your cut marks. So, that's going to, this is going to come through the interior of your room. This is going to mount to the exterior, just basically hide your cut marks and dresses it up a little bit. There will be so an option to add a rain guard in case this is going to be in direct weather. That rain guard is not needed if you have a canopy or if it's in an interior room. If this is removed by someone, it does not affect the security. Uh, this is all independent of that sleeve. Uh, this basically is our hopper door. So I can't reach into this and, um, and pull anything out. As I open this, it closes off the back. <coughs> Excuse me, there's anti-fishing teeth back here. And then there's another set of anti-fishing teeth down here at the bottom of the throat. This is designed for bank bags. So here, we got our bank bag here. And so basically you open this up, set the bank bag, in, drop it, and it drops down. That bank bag I just dropped was six by nine by almost two inches. Uh, you can get a little bit bigger one in there. Uh, you've got a really big security uh, or secure receptacle here. It's got a Medevco lock um, right here. You can see there's our bank bag uh, parcel that we, you can drop in there. Um, the comes with two keys. You can get additional keys if needed. Uh, but again, this is 12 by 6 by about 10. Overall height is 25 inches. Um, it goes back more than 12 inches because you got about 10 inches here, 12 inches there. But again, the options are going to allow you to select what's going to work for your situation, for your wall thickness, and for the item that you're dropping in, you need to let us know. So if you're just dropping standard bank bags, like uh, this six by nine by two bank bag, then this model is gonna, gonna work for you without any problem. However, if you're dropping a manila envelope or even a, uh, a legal size, and not a letter size, um, but legal size, well, even a letter size, let us know and that way we can make this not just the depth for your wall, but also the depth to accommodate that larger envelope. If you have, if you're dropping 20 bank bags into this, then you're going to need a larger receptacle. And we have this that goes down to the floor, this receptacle, it's 48 inches tall, which allows and accommodates for a greater number of bank bags or envelopes, because this can be used as a, as a payment, utility payment. Let's say you're a water department or you're the Department of Motor Vehicles or, or whatever it is that you need to securely drop through your wall and into your building. This can even be used for ballots. Um, so it, it has many, many functions. You can use this to drop keys, uh, again, the bank bags, payments, but we need to build it according to what your need is. So um, if it's something bigger than this bank bag that's being dropped in there, be sure to let us know in the comments section so that we can make it accordingly. This is made out of 12 gauge steel. Uh, so what does that mean? 12 gauge steel means uh, that it's much, much thicker, I'm trying to give you an example of your, like for example, your mailbox at home. Your mailbox at home typically is like a 26, 28 gauge. So it's very, very thin metal. This metal here um, is just shy of uh, an eighth inch thick. And so, you know, this thing weighs 56 pounds, the way it's built here. So it's very heavy duty, very strong, very well built. It's all well designed. Um, there's not any rivets in here. Um, this is the, the hinge that's put on there. And again, it, it keeps you from reaching in. Um, so the anti-fishing, if someone were to try to stick a coat hanger down in there, uh, there's anti-fishing teeth at the end of this hopper and then at, a, at the bottom of this chute right here, uh, which prevents someone from sticking something diagonally down in there and pulling it back out. And that's another reason why this is recessed back an inch. And then of course your collar uh, faceplate would make that depth back another uh, inch or so. Uh, but it could even be set back more depending on 
the option you choose for your wall thickness. So the size, again, this is 12 inches uh, wide. Uh, the height of this goes all the way up to about 25 inches. Um, the depth of this receptacle that holds it is 18 by 12 by 12. So it can hold, you know, six or eight of these bank bags easily. If you have more than that, you start getting into maybe 15 or 20 bank bags. We're going to suggest you go into our 48 inch high one. Uh, so again, let's go over some of the features. You've got the uh, aluminum pole. It's got the hopper door. It's got the triple anti-fishing baffle. Uh, it's got the Mededco lock. It comes with two keys. It's got the access door in the back. Mounting holes so that when you push this through the wall, you're going to need to have a couple of maybe a couple of studs there that you can run some screws through to hold it. There's also mounting holes in the bottom in case you want to set some brackets up underneath there or maybe even secure it to a table. Um, it does come with the flange. Again, that hides your cut marks. We can put a rain guard on there again in case if you need it, if it's going to be in direct weather. This is our black color. It's a powder coat. It does come also in white, bronze, gray, almond, uh, or red. We have a lot of other custom colors. Those add a little bit of time and a little bit more money. Um, but this particular drop box is considered a high security drop box just because you, a lot of other ones just have a slot or they don't have the hopper mechanism which keeps someone from reaching in. So I can reach my hand in here, but I can't reach past this point. It, it's impossible. Um, if someone were to get a coat hanger down in there, it's gonna, when they try pulling it back out, if they even can, the triple anti-fishing is gonna keep anything from being pulled back out. If you need something different than this, you need something taller, wider, narrower, deeper, we make just about anything. If it's, if it's a mailbox or a payment drop box going through the door, through the wall, freestanding, whatever pretty much you imagine, we can build it. Uh, lead time on this particular one is minimum two or three weeks, just because we're really uh, always busy making different custom items for people, plus all the normal items we make. So give us a little bit of time. On occasion, we might have one on hand, but it, it's usually pretty rare. So give us a couple weeks. Worst case, you're looking at five or six if we're really busy. Um, not finding what you need on our website, be sure to give us a call. We can talk you through. I've spent I spent two or three weeks with customers at times trying to work through all the different details of what exactly they need for their business or for their home. Um, because something like this isn't just made uh, for, the, for the business. We have a lot of customers now who don't want to have packages left on their door side. And so if they have a wall that they can come through, we'll build it so that it can go through their wall and um, drop, you don't even have to have the receptacle. We can build this just with a hopper mechanism so it'll just drop down onto their floor and or you can put a basket there and uh, to catch the items. So whatever you can think of, whatever your needs are, we can build it. Again, I'm Steve with Locking Security Mailbox. This is our 12 inch wide custom high security payment bank bag night drop. Uh, it's on our website. And again, any questions, be sure to give us a call, send us an email, we can help you out.